everybody and welcome to the vlog. It is just after six o'clock in the morning. And I'm heading into the shop and I am super excited because today we officially start the expansion for the Reptarium. That's right, demolition starts next door. We're gonna be tearing walls out, tearing ceilings out. And I know the demolition part might not be pretty, but it is the first step in actually blowing this wall out and expanding the Reptarium. Oh my God, today marks the day it's begun. Uh, gonna be a busy day, a lot of work to do. Let's get over there and get started. This place is about to look a lot different. Again, ceilings coming down, walls are gonna come down. Uh, it's gonna be a mess, but uh, by the end of the day, things are gonna start looking a little bit more like we want to. Holy cow, Ivy has got a big lump in her for sure. Of course, she ate that pig for Thanksgiving, and uh, you know, not every snake should have a big lump like this. Some snakes can't handle that big meal. They can actually regurgitate and stuff like that. When it comes to anacondas and some of the other big pythons, even like retics and stuff like that, they can take really large meals and have a lump like this. Now she's probably going to literally just kind of chill out in her water, hang out here for I bet you at least a week or so without hardly any moving. Probably about a week from now you'll barely be able to see that lump, but she may actually go two or three weeks without food with a meal like that. Nevertheless, Ivy looks amazing. You can just imagine if she's eating meals this size how big she's going to actually grow and how fast she's going to grow. Again, getting her in that new enclosure with the new expansion going to be absolutely incredible. So my buddy brought a whole bunch of quail eggs, which is a real treat for a lot of our animals. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with Elvis and we'll see who else wants a little bit of a delectable treat with some quail eggs. Buddy, you ready to eat something? Let me go get the ball real quick. Oh shoot. Darn it. <laughs> Absolutely epic was that. Elvis just crushed a ton of eggs. Definitely good enrichment for him because he's chasing them around. Good for him nutritionally because it varies his diet. Let's go see what else he'll eat. Up. Guys, guess what? Black Friday was such a huge success. We decided to go with Cyber Monday. That's right. Right now we are running a sale on bhbreptiles.com. Things are up to 50% off just like Black Friday. So uh, go ahead and check out bhbreptiles.com. And as we're talking about Cyber Monday, that's right. Uh, merch is on sale today only for 15% off just like Black Friday. So today until midnight, we've got BHB Reptiles and BarCheckBoys.com for the merch you got. Links are in the description. Pin comment. Go check it out. I've never tried Savannah monitors with eggs. I know they like them cooked, but a whole egg, I'm not sure. Santana probably will like it. Let's go ahead and see what he wants to do. Come on, bud. Yep, it's right over here, bud. Food, food, food. Whoa. Dropped an egg. I think he liked it. Oh, there's some juice in the middle of this. He's like freaking out. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a mess. I would say that was a success. That was so funny. That's awesome. Next 
finished up Abasuku. The thing I'm worried about with this is that typically you can get something in her mouth before she wants to jump out at you. Uh, I'm gonna be kind of at a disadvantage with these eggs. So let's just go ahead and see what we can do. I'm hoping I can just maybe drop them and she'll go get them. Let's see what happens. Abasuku, here, come on. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, no, no. What? Smelling it? Whoa, jeez. Go down. There she goes. Whoo! I tell you, she's a fun animal. <laughs> I think she's liking the egg, though. I got a couple more for her. She's, now she just squirted it all over the place. Oh, she got, she's just like, I'll just take another one. <laughs> what a silly monkey. <laughs> Again, this is good enrichment for them because there's a different thing. They're kind of playing with their food just like Abasuku is right now. It's really good for them to do that. Not to mention nutritionally, it's really good as well. So uh, I thought <laughs> have a blast with this for sure. how she loves to kind of crack them. I think she likes to taste that albumin and yolk. Uh, unlike Elvis that ate most of them, just, you know, just swallowing them whole. Even Elvis looked like he was trying to break the egg as well, but uh, Abasuku's just got a little bit smaller mouth and is a little bit more suited for that type of thing, but uh, I think she's loving it. She's got a dirty face though. What are you talking about, Willis? You know, I told you guys I want to take you on the emotional journey as well as the entire journey of this expansion. And uh, I'm not going to lie to you. You know, every time I do a big thing like I did the Reptarium, now this expansion, all the other projects I've done, there's always that moment which usually happens today in the process where you realize there's no turning back, right? Prior to this, you know, we had a lot of kind of planning and, and reaching out to people, but until we actually started smashing walls down and taking things down, I could have always turned around and said, you know what, I think I'm gonna postpone this. As of today, as of right now, there's no turning back, you know? We've already broke ground, it's going to happen. And I'm gonna be honest with you, when a day like today happens, I always have real mixed emotions. I mean, obviously I'm super excited, right? To be able to expand, to have that vision continue to grow, is amazing. On the other hand, it's scary as heck. You know, not only am I spending a lot of money, but there's going to be a lot of time, there's going to be energy, and anyone that's done any project, whether it's build a house or do an addition or redo your bathroom, whatever the case is, you know there's going to be a bunch of issues that pop up that you weren't prepared for, right? You know, maybe there's a heating and cooling issue, maybe there's a hole in the wall that you weren't expecting, maybe a rooftop unit needs to be replaced. There's always going to be something that pops up that's going to be like, oh my god, I wasn't expecting it, now it's going to take more money, more time, more energy. Uh, it's scary. I ain't gonna lie to you, but at the end of this journey, it's going to be absolutely amazing and it's worth it. So again, I wanted to take a step back from the construction site and just tell you what I'm feeling right now. Again, a lot of excitement, hardly could sleep last night, but also a tremendous amount of kind of like anxiety and nervousness. Like, is this going to work out? You know what I mean? So regardless, uh, back to work. Okay. Argamus is up next. We'll see if he wants to eat. Come on, Argamus, over here, over here. You want to eat? Wait, wait, wait. You want to try? Wanna try? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Crack that egg like nothing. Wanna try another one? Oh, I didn't, I'm surprised he likes it so much. Last time I tried this, it didn't seem to really like it that much. He's crushing these. was that? Argus loved it. You can see some little lumps in his throat where he's actually got some eggs still in there. He's loving it. I tell you what, these guys are going nuts over these quail eggs. This was definitely way more successful than the last time we tried this. And again, it's really good for him. Now to get Argus back in his cage without him getting too upset with me, all right? Come on, Argus, you're fine. You're fine, buddy. Come on, just right. Here you go, bud. 
You're okay. You're okay, baby. Oh, you've become such a good animal. Wow. What a difference. I mean, with all the work that everyone's doing with Artemis, he's become a puppy dog. Certainly a lot different than he was just six, eight months ago. We're gonna give Taz a try. Now, interesting enough, you guys may remember last year, Taz went through like a month and a half, two month window where he was cruising around an awful lot. Really uncharacteristic, because I always say he's like the sloth of the reptile world. Sleeps like 23 hours a day. He's typically underneath this rock and stuff like that. Well, he seems to always be out kind of cruising around now. So we're gonna just see if we can get him to come for some food. What's okay. that? So it looks like Taz doesn't want to take any eggs today. Uh, I think again, he's in that breeding mode. Oftentimes males, when they're in breeding mode, don't eat a lot because all they're thinking about is trying to find females. So uh, we'll let Tazzy go and on his way and uh, we'll try to feed him something else later on. There it goes. This is like similar to what I've seen happen with this animal before, is it just can't quite get it, like its teeth into it, it just keeps popping out of its mouth. I tried everything from holding it, holding it with the tongs. Uh, finally, I just figured whatever and uh, wants to eat, we'll have to just stick with rodents with this guy. But it's pretty cool that it at least tried, right? I thought we were keeping a few walls. <laughs> no, we're, we're open up. Basically what it is is that it was, it was better, because the walls were only as high as the paint. Yeah. We want to go all the way to the ceiling so that, you know, so it's easier to tear them out and build them back up than to have them. So, we Okay, well, I came over here to see what the noise was, how different it looks with all the walls. I know, it's so much bigger, right? I mean, it's not. Is it? Because I'm not going to lie, I almost feel like it's. Oh, shoot. I thought it was going to be bigger. I'm well, sure, like, what's it? <laughs> Well, this is the same size that the Reptarium was before we started, I so. It's I think dull. I just wasn't, I, I, yeah, I wasn't expecting <laughs> There's no turning back now, guys. Uh, we can't put the walls back up, so. Here we go. Buckle up. You want new panels up here, right? Yeah, up here for sure. Okay, yeah. and the one downstairs, we can't use either. It's a three-phase fan. Oh. They have three-phase air conditioners downstairs. That's why they oh, switched why out they that wire like that. Oh. So I, just, I went back down there because I'm like, hey, it just wasn't long enough tonight. Gotcha. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, might as well. So we're gonna, you know, obviously build the rooms out downstairs. Um, so that's not a high priority, you know what I mean? But, but you know, whatever you want to do. If I can get them all done in one day, just to get everything prepped, you know. All right, cool. All right, man, thank you, dude. Right, I'll talk to you, thank you. With the Reptarium being open over a year and of course this big expansion, I'm trying to take all the things I learned from this Reptarium and apply it to the other one, if that makes any sense. So a lot of the enclosures are gonna be more like Lucy's here. I mean, in a way, what I mean, and they're not gonna be just like Lucy's, but more large cages, floor to ceiling type of cages, rather than smaller cubicles. Over here, I love the fact that we have a bunch of really cool animals in smaller enclosures. Even these double stack cages actually work pretty well. The Doomerals, got the Frilly, that's completely fine, but you're only gonna to see a couple of those. Almost everything else is going to be floor to ceiling, pretty large, pretty spectacular. All these little cages and little habitats I have here are great. And I wouldn't change them because I think it's really important to have the little animals, but I don't need a lot more little animals. What I want is bigger enclosures, more show stoppers and stuff like that. I think that that's what's going to be cool and really incredibly cool exhibits that are set up there. Again, the anaconda with water features, the gator with water features, the big tree monitor. Going to have a bunch of really big enclosures that are a lot more glass, a lot more kind of viewing, as well as a lot more naturalistic as well. So super excited. Again, just trying to take the lessons from this building and put it into that building and make it that much better. Right here, guys, we actually have a hall that is the beginning hall where it's gonna connect the old Reptarium with the new Reptarium and make it into one big Reptarium. Of course, this whole wall is going through here. We just want to see what we need to do to take this wall out and stuff like that. Uh, demolition is done for the day. We have to get all of the debris out of here and stuff like that. But now we went from a building with a whole bunch of rooms to one big kind of room that is open. Obviously, it got a lot of debris. We'll get this out of here in no time. Uh, again, just a little bit of a, a recap 
have, this is where the big anaconda cage is gonna go. It's gonna have a pond that connects the two buildings over here. We're gonna have a row of cages that go all along here. And then right down in the center, you're gonna have actual glass sides on both sides of enclosures that come down this way. Tree monitors over there. Birthday room over here, snake massage over here, gift shop over here, exit. So uh, I tell you what guys, I know again, I keep telling you guys, I know it's hard to visualize what I'm thinking in my head, but right now I see it. I see how it's gonna be done. It's gonna be absolutely epic. We got a lot done today with the demolition. Gotta get all this debris out of here as quickly as we can. And then we can start working on the flooring. We can start working on electrical. We can start working on the ceiling, the hole in the wall. And then uh, in a couple weeks, I head down to Universal Rocks where we're gonna start building the habitat. All right, guys, so day one is in the cans. The expansion of the Reptarium. It's gonna be a crazy few months. Cannot wait to bring you guys along on the journey. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about it, what you're excited about. Are you gonna come visit on the grand opening sometime in March? Kind of plan your calendar. Regardless, if you enjoyed this video, here's the last build that we had at the Reptarium. And here's an entire playlist of Reptarium stuff. Over here, you can hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, can you turn those post notifications on? Remember to have a wonderful day. You better be kind to someone, I promise. I'll see you guys tomorrow.